and tracking. That's all their roads. That's all their roads. He's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. He's messed. Dead. Afraid to walk because he didn't want to get shocked or even die. These tiny little <laughs> hooves walk got forward. Out of one. <laughs> These tiny little hooves are fucking afraid. <laughs>
got it back, that's cool. Yeah. That was first blood, huh? Yup. Yeah. That's cool. Beautiful. Got it. Yeah. Sorry. Wall. You, your wall does nothing. Yeah. She does, right? Yeah. Damn, I'm fed. Not great. Fuck's getting too hard. Uh, Alright, could be better. Alright, terrible. Alright, I got screwed. I got screwed. I got screwed. Let's wheel dash. Yeah, there. Oh, I fucked up there. I'm gonna kill her now. Let's do it. Kill her? No! Okay. Alright, just kill him. I don't know that taunt's down. Thomas down. There we Ooh. go. Up, he's up. It's good. Force is issue, force issue. Enemy jungle. Um, but it does put your mid and your duo behind, like you said. Um no. That's not how you want to start a best of five, and that is only Bubby taking down top hat right away. Gotten into his head already. Looking forward is Fire Dragon right into a sash from Bubby and a nice wall will lock down this Kali taking them up to the sky surely to finish them off and that is a kill for Bubby onto Fire Dragon but hold on Top Hat's not finished they will take down pressure and the kill goes on the fall side Top Hat now faces up against two he's in a way there's another two coming around the corner Eagles rally ahead of the target just to close the distance Top Hat will fall down and now, you know, there, there is the reinforcements coming through VHS, but it's all a bit too late. Food Fighters have been much faster on these rotations, I would say. Hold on. Whoa, we're not quite done yet. Bobby blinks forward. Oh, and does manage to dash on out of there. Uh, so I have to be very careful here. But no, they're okay. Oh, oh, hold on. There's a Fallen on both teams. What's going on here? That's not fair. They can't do that to me. I was wondering why it wasn't a Rama being taken to the sky. That's a Scylla. Scylla in the air. Does come down, but doesn't stay down for very long. Is now dead and in the ground. Fire Dragon does make the rotation in, but gets caught in so many plants. Gets the destruction off, though. Zelda's the target, but Scary Creep will take that one for themselves. And it will cost the life of Fire Dragon. Scary Creep gets the moves out. Use the Purification Beats on the Armillary Sash, but pressure and this one up for being pressured out by pressure and we've got fire dragon is here not the best steel potential in the world but pretty good kill potential on the cell unless you get lifted to the sky like that now can they burn it in time there is the i'm a monster comes through food fighters do get the fire giant that they need fallen just a touch too early with that i'm a monster but isn't able to do enough damage flying through the sky is scary creep but will just try to get to safety because fallen takes damage from their namesake and will go down at the game fully with those two items together. Seeing a split push coming through from Fire Dragon on the Kali as a tier 2 defense actually goes quite well for VHS. They do lose the tower, but they, they got a lot in the process. Oh, hold on, Scary Creep gets caught with a cripple there from the running shot and then uses the moves right into a wall from the captain. It was a pretty good defense. The call will be to go for the end. Bubby does fall to Top Hat and Fire Dragon, but the rest of the team doesn't care. They're not interested in that engagement because they want to take the big prize at the end. Fire Dragon gets caught, oh, dashes in aggressively, jumps way forward just to try to steal away the pressure, but it's not going to be quite enough. Top Hat burn through the captain but the shell will keep the support alive for just about long enough top hat still staying tall fighting as much as they can but the frost breath is a lot it will take them out of the tremors they're trying to defend but the titan stands no longer and food fighters take a very fast game number one like, like dodgy and thor both probably similar levels of execution you know that you you i mean it, it, it's classic right you always have to hit your shots but, you know, maybe both gods are about equal in doing it. But hold on, Tricks of Spirit comes forward. Pressure will pick up the blue buff, but will pay for it with their life. I feel like the Blades of Retribution there, if they came out from Fallen, would have been really, really good. Like, I don't know, that was just the sort of moment for it. Hold on, Zelda on the scene. Dunks down with the Anvil of Dawn. Now here come the Ultimates coming through. That is the Blades of Retribution coming through, and Zelda picks up the kill onto Chaos tonight. So... Uh, didn't manage to combine it yet, but ooh, Zelda getting combined by both sets of dragons. There's the Damic Pillars. Lock Zelda in. 
does fall and have an ability, yes they do! I, I think Thor has been more impactful when in the hands of Zelda so far this game, but speaking of Zelda, gets caught by the invisibility, goes invisible, but ends up burning down! And f for doing that again, and Bobby spots it out, Get smells blood in the water, and Fallen will take that one down, Fire Dragon oversteps the mark, and Scary Creep stepping up very, very high, gets stunned out before they can get to the Whirlpool form. Now we'll take your pick, Bubby. You have Scary Creep, you have Fallen there as target, but ends up landing right back where they were. Zelda, though, getting in aggressive, takes one out already. Now goes up into the Anvil of Dawn. Scary Creep still under tower, nowhere to go. The grapple will be enough to take Zelda out, though Scary Creep still lives to fight another day, as Bubby had unfortunately disconnected during that oh, fight that's our explanation no. that is what happened it could have been great it ends up not being so good as we understandably go to a pause and oh man Daisy is there a worse time for a disconnect than when you are literally in the sky with Thoro yeah, it seems that the, the supports are really not too far behind these enemy junglers. There's the Eagles rally coming through forward from pressure. And now on the retreat, this fire dragon gets caught by the Anvil of Dawn. There's a purification bead and has to use the Paolo. Drops right in place, it looks like, and tries to get on out. Bubby still giving chase. Can't find enough damage, though. And that will be the life save from fire dragon. Zelda's giving chase, but meanwhile, Top Hat is slamming through the entire enemy team. Takes out Bubby already. The captain has nowhere to go. Oh, Top Hat now dashes into Fallen. By the way, Scary Creeps behind you, Fallen. The captain just trying to stall for time, but it will not be a lot of time. That is three down already. Zelda. It seems that the, the supports are really not too far behind these enemy junglers. There's the Eagles rally coming through forward from pressure. And now on the retreat, this fire train gets caught by the Anvil of Dawn. There's a purification bead and has to use the Paolo. Drops right in place, it looks like, and tries to get on out. Bubby still giving chase. Can't find enough damage though, and that will be the life saved from Fire Dragon. Zelda's giving chase, but meanwhile, Top Hat is slamming through the entire enemy team. Takes out Bubby already. The captain has nowhere to go. Top Hat now dashes into Fallen. By the way, Scary Creeps behind you, Fallen. The captain just trying to stall for time, but it will not be a lot of time. That is three down already Zelda Phoenix push is the right call but Top Hat wants it Top Hat dashes all the way in aggressively gets locked in the Dharmic Pillars that sends in the madness all over the enemy team but they do dive onto the back line in response Top Hat too low has to retreat Fire Dragon in the horrible position gets caught way behind enemy lines and does fall down now the food fighters in the ascendancy with the numbers advantage they do give chase nice tectonic rift Hits on the three, and that's Chaos tonight trying to peel for their own team. Fallen there with an early purification beast because Zelda's back with the Anvil of Dawn, dumping in very, very fast. Scary Creep putting the damage out in retaliation. This back handed damage coming through from VHS really strongly, but Zelda finds an angle back side, takes down full a double taunt from the captain. Means that this is going really, really badly now for VHS. Chaos they ball. close the distance. Chaos tonight falls down too. Zelda gives chase to Scary Creep, gets the stun. I, I, I guess I mean, it's, 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 not, no. it's not EF, it's not EFG. There's no reason That's for true. you to, there's no reason for you to give a Phoenix up over Fire Giant. Not just Ooh. yet. But there's certainly a reason to not give up Scary Creep early on. Already the Hunter off the table for VHS. They don't have a lot of damage on board. Now Chaos tonight trying to frontline for their team. Gets slammed down by Zelda. There's Dragonfire. Oh, sorry. Fire Dragon finds an angle on the backside. But it's not enough. There's a four on four. For everyone else, the captain dashes through, gets the beads off of Fallen, and will now try to retreat. We do see Top Hat making the rotation over to the left-hand side to defend Bubby, forced to the sky. The captain falling down to the Phoenix shot, but this Phoenix is very, very low. Can they clean it up? Bubby gets a nice dunk down. Chaos tonight falls down in the process, but the defense is pretty good. Still, the Phoenix does fall, but can Food Fighters get out? Fallen, giant, and the ult. Can they do it? All he needs to do is ult into Cthulhu and just hard defend. That's all right, he yeah. needs to do. Well, what he doesn't need to do is get picked up by Fire Dragon who spots them out. Will Fire Dragon commit? They've opted to go for this right side Phoenix instead. Dashing forward is Top Hat stunned out. Top Hat's gonna die. I think Zelda transforms into the Thor. Gets one. 
Spots out top hat, low health. There's fallen low health on the right hand side. What have VHS done with this situation? Looks like to keep them off the fire giant until they are a full five. But another trebuchet on the left hand side. Gets the attention of Chaos tonight. Bubby there teleports forward right into a root. And will go up into the Anvil of Dawn. Where will their target be? But Fallen already low health. And Top Hat takes them down. That's the carry off the mark for Food Fighters. But the other Fallen similarly goes down. Both carries down. Mid lane is down for one. Bubby trying to get out but gets caught on the Dharmic Pillars and dies for it. Fire Dragon now gets the Paolo off on the retreat from Zelda. Who's still giving chase but can't quite find the last hit. But Zelda can. Zelda will take down the opposing jungle. It's a scrappy fight. It's back and forth, but it's just the front line left alive for VHS. They don't have the damage that they need to turn this fight around. Top Hat doing what they can, but they cannot dash away. The Confound will seal their fangin' has to retreat with the Trickster Spirit. Yes, the Knight lifts up one double root coming through, but a bigger stun coming out from the Tectonic Rift. And Bubby immediately to the sky. Where will they land? They have a lot of targets to choose from. It looks like they will choose Fallen. And they take out the mid laner for VHS before this fight even begins. And a triple stun from the Blades of Retribution. Fallen falls in the process but won't mind this. But Bubby can't find the damage they need. They just about fall down to the bleed damage from Fire Dragon. Another Anvil of Dawn comes down from Zelda and does clean up the Darji. But it is yet again just the front line left alive for VHS. HS, Chaos tonight and Top Hat try to run to safety, but the confound comes through. The taunt on in. This Ganesh is very tanky, but not tanky enough. Meanwhile, the Titan just dies I to just... a wave of only fire minions. The fight went bad. It didn't matter. It was already over. Captain getting trapped again as he's frozen. Ow. Oh. One more build. She's gone. That golden blade. She's going to have pressure over something like an Athena, who does not have the best of clear. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to. Ooh, as Kibito coming down there. on, and Ganesha coming down, as Fallen Bobby. being low. Look at Bubby comes through, gets the overhand smash, and that is Zelda picking up the kill. Their positioning in the previous game, but they've now chosen Emir, who suffers even more. But that's a combo coming through. Top Hat puts out an immense amount of damage, and Bubby will get pulled back in by the Paolo, and Fire Dragon takes down their opposing number on the Emir to keep this uh, tower nice and damaging. Fire Dragon still wants to take the fight to Bubby, though, but the Fear No Evil does a lot of damage. Fire Dragon will retreat. That is a good taunt, though, on the two. Bubby has to use the Purification Beast, and Pressure has to burn the Dazzling Offensive. Dashing forward is Scary Creep. Turns around their attention onto Zelda as they've gone way too far forward. But a double taunt again from Top Hat might actually cost them their life. The Captain does manage to find the last hit and gives the kill over to Zelda. But there's Scary Creep burning through the enemy team. Apollo. Firing off those finger guns right into the plants of Zelda, though, who is absolutely swinging on this Persephone, doing a ton of damage. This entire team fight, it has just fallen and chaos tonight. Zelda will juke out the ability, but look at the damage coming through. Almost manages to take out Fallen as well. Zelda, though, finally gets re-engaged on the power now comes through. That's enough damage. That's the kill that they need. That's a worthwhile pickup, because, you know, all of a sudden, VHS are possibly threatening this fire giant, but now they can't. They don't have the exact numbers advantage they need. They were just trading towers back and forth, left, right, and center. But at the end of the day, VHS have taken a lead, and Zelda's trying to back. Can Fire Dragon stop them with the tricks to spare it? They don't! No. They don't! Oh, just too late. It was so close. I wonder if they were a little bit later. We would have ended up in the fountain. I'm not quite sure how that ability worked. But that could have uh, been bad for Fire Dragon. Uh, oh, this, uh, this game's on a knife edge. Uh, and looking to possibly go back to this, this Phoenix. Yeah, they've got the tier 2 down. 
And we'll fire some shots into this Phoenix. No enhanced fire giant, of course. They do still need some minions, but Scary Creep is gone before the fight even begins. And now the chase down from Food Fighters comes through. Paolo does get Bobby's beads. What can they do off of this? But there is a scrap of death. Hits absolutely everyone, as does the Blades of Retribution. But the health bars are still pretty high for VHS. But it looks like the call is to retreat, but retreating right into pressure is Fire Dragon. Does manage to stay alive for just a moment. The fight is very split up, very spread out. Bobby does fall to Fire Dragon right now because that Daji can still put out a massive amount of damage. Fallen on the Cupid retreating, but does have the Defender of Olympus to back them up. And now pressure taunted in. The front line will fall as the Captain takes a ton of damage too. For now it's just Fire Dragon and Top Hat with any sort of matter. Zelda pops <laughs> that uh, alternate timeline will still fall down. The minions pour into the Titan. VHS come back into this game. And I'm not going to speak too soon, because Scary Creep didn't even have the mana to actually make it to the Titan room. But finally, the team pours in. Fallen will fall. Titan goes down. It is not a 3-0 for Foo Fighters. VHS claw back game number three. And finally, stamp their mark onto this set. Yeah, you don't want to fall down early on. And there's the stun. There's the evader punish, but gets pushed in the tower, dragged all the way down top hat, turns it around. He said he shouldn't step up, and now it's ringing true. Top hat did not step up. They stepped back and pushed pressure all the way into tower and down. Forced away for just a moment. Scary creep. Still here, there's the more hungers, there's the fields of love as well. The captain takes a lot of damage and VHS steal it away. So that is fallen now. Surely will go down to the Astral Barrage and yes they do. Bubby taking that kill away. Zelda now though, under pressure from Fire Dragon. But Fire Dragon has to turn around, has to try to find some safety, can't get it. Nothing about that Emiya wall. They take a Pyromancer on one side, split push all the way up to a tier two on the other. It cannot be easy, but hold on, getting aggressive is Fire Dragon takes so much damage in the process. Fallen will take to the sky and will be okay with the Astral Barrage. They find the third shot and Fire Dragon falls down. Fallen yet again, 2v1 in this dual lane and coming away with the win. Just a touch too early, they will hold on, but the Fire Dragon is low. It comes in, but VHS do get it. They do take the major objective down. Fallen though on the backside gets killed off by Zelda who sniped out a priority target but do they have the scarab's blessing to come through they do not use it they will not be revived coming through because it was already gone and now food fight is just burning through the rest of the team the captain is here to try and retreat and stall for some time because we do see pressure on the left hand side did lose the left hand phoenix there are now only fire minions on to the titan they're gonna do a lot of damage if pressure can't clear them there are more only fire minions coming from the left hand side but worse than that there are four members of vhs barreling down the middle lane get onto this titan start to blow it up and ladies and gentlemen we are heading to a game number five in the gold fury division they find the kills afterwards. Here's Fire Dragon coming on in. Another landfall to lock the captain in place. Are they going to focus down a target? It looks like the call is to retreat. This is a five on five battle at the 17 minute mark. Triple stun countered up by another triple stun. But the Mystic Rush comes through. They're piling on forward. One for one on either side right now. The captain low health and will fall in the process. There's Zelda getting real aggressive with the jolt. Doesn't quite find all the damage that they need. The health bars are so low from both sides top hat teleporting in but can't quite find the hits they need scary creep on the retreat <laughs> fallen now left all alone completely isolated will fall in this long drawn out process dashing back is fallen i don't believe it they're coming through dashing in finding the shots gets one finding more shots gets two if they can yes they do turning it around with a triple kill from fallen on the channel bar VHS though, barrel towards 
this Phoenix. They are grouped as five. The five members from Food Fighters are not quite here just yet. They're ready to put up a defense. The captain walks up, gets the freeze on Scary Creep. Who we'll uses the purification beads late, and that's fallen already down. The fight swings as Scary Creep goes. That is all the damage coming out from VHS off the table. Now it's just trying to retreat, but they're all grouped together. They can't go down. Landfall pulls three, but it doesn't matter. It just seals the fate of Chaos tonight. VHS again fall at the right side. Phoenix can food fighters take this away now they've taken fire giant off of four big shots poking and prodding the CC and abilities burning out from both sides full arm five on five sat waiting there's the landfall doesn't connect there's the more hungers only stuns onto the captain what do they have to back all that up? Chaos tonight takes a lot of damage. There's a Gamma Ray Burst coming down, but the front line from VHS is low, but the captain is lower. The captain goes down at the start of this fight. Bubby brawls back against Fire Dragon. It's really close between these two jungles, but the retreat coming out. The damage is too much from Top Hat. Mid lane Phoenix does go down. It is five onto three in the Titan Room. Zelda fights back, takes down Fire Dragon. This Phoenix has fallen. The Titan gets involved. VHS have to back away to play it safe, but they have broken the all-important second feet. Don't have right lane pushed. The Food Fighters defend this one, Trezzy. What does this game go to VHS? What do you think? I I think I think this game might just go to VHS here. Well, it looks like it might. They are ready. They are knocking at the door. They've already kicked the door in three times, but now they're knocking once again just to announce that they are here. Mid lane Phoenix barely a sneeze away from going down, and it is off of the map. Top Hat drawing some attention to the left-hand side. There's the landfall. Gets on the pressure. Pressure gets blown up already. A big stun in retaliation. But look at the damage coming through. Pressure's down. The fighting comes out. Bobby trying to put whatever they can. Health bars. So, so low for VHS. They're just not quite going down yet. But Bobby goes crazy. Bobby with the double kill. Fallen gets a kill as well. It is just Maui on Chaos tonight. You're trying to stay alive. They can't take the Titan. They have to just try and keep their team alive. I think this might be so close. I don't know if they can get to that Titan. Third, they have 30 seconds. I mean, they do have, uh, yeah, they have two ADCs here, so maybe. They also have the Gold Fury buff from Chaos tonight, standing in that Phoenix. It will take the take a little bit longer. 18 seconds on Fallen. The captain gets pulled in. We'll take a lot of damage from this Phoenix, but Chaos tonight, now oh, there are minions in the room. That will cause some more damage. Eight seconds on the respawns coming in. Frenzy gets popped. Landfall just to cause some chaos and disruption. Minions are in the room. The respawns come through. Scary Crew and Fallen Dash on in. The Titans low health. It's so low, but it's not just down yet. It's so very, very low. It's as low as it could possibly be. But it is not down. And the Order Side Titan also almost falls down to minions. Food Fighters try. They die. Left side Phoenix will burn. Mid lane Phoenix is non-existent. VHS are waiting. They're biding their time. They want to group up here. But there is a lot of damage to come on through. What can pressure do? They're on the left hand side. They need to be on the right. Scary Creep comes in. Starts tanking the objective. Minions are there to try to ball them away. But the Titan solo. Gamma Ray Burst coming in. The whole kitchen sink being thrown at the Titan. And VHS are your Gold Fury Division champions in the fifth game of this best of five set things matter take it all the way back to the start of this game where we we actually saw scary creep uh and fallen chasing each other for the chalice those little moments those little plays is all what it comes down to and vhs tried their best to throw it away but they end up getting the full reverse sweep over food fighters they turned it completely on its head fantastic performance though for food fighters gave us a real show brought it literally to the wire it does not get any closer than that and that is what we saw today if you were here if you watched this live look at the clock look around you remember i was here when vhs pulled off that reverse sweep fantastic performance fantastic show and Drezzy
that is it for this. Yeah, I, I think we just we just got a treat right there. I, I couldn't be more happy with this set. Uh, congratulations.